in this video we will try to solve a question on optimization of multivariate functions that was asked by a brother Comran on telegram channel of econ maths the question was like this optimize uh, f x y is equal to 3 x square minus x y plus 8 y square minus 2 x minus 3 y plus 126 find maxima and minima we have to find out whether this function has maxima or minima okay now what are the conditions for a relative maximum or relative minimum in case of multivariate functions let us say we have, we have a function f of x y so let me write it here so if we have a function let us say f of x y is equal to some variables which is a function of x and y so if the first partial what we do we first set partial derivative with respect to x and y equal to zero this is the first condition for relative maximum then we take the second order direct partials that means taking second order partial derivatives of this given function okay if they are also less than zero they should be less than zero in case of maximum and the product of the second order direct partials should be greater than the square of the cross partials okay this is the condition for maximum i will explain it in detail in this uh, by this example similarly for relative maximum first we set the first derivatives of x and y equal to zero then we take second order partial derivatives direct partial derivatives and they should be greater than zero in case of relative minimum and the product of a second order direct partials should be greater than the square of the cross partials okay so these f x x f y y are the direct partials f x y and f y x is uh, cross partials okay let's uh, go to the question and let us see how to find whether this uh, this function has minimum or maximum okay so first step is to find f of f x and f y okay so if this is our kind uh, of this is our uh, multivariate function so first step will be to find the f of x that means partially differentiating this multivariate function with respect to x and setting it equal to zero so derivative of x square is 2x so 2 3s are 6x we get here 6x minus derivative of x is 1 so we are left with y then since no x is involved its derivative will be zero derivative of x is here 1 so we are left with minus 2 and since no x is involved in other terms so their derivative will be zero and we set it equal to zero okay similarly we find out f subscript y means partially differentiating our multivariate function with respect to y this time okay no y is involved so derivative is zero here the derivative of y is one so we are left with minus x here derivative of y square will be 2y so 2 into 8 is 16 so i can write it 16y then since no y is involved its derivative is zero here also it is zero so derivative of y in this case is one so we are left with minus three and we set it equal to zero okay now we solve these two uh, these two functions for our critical value okay so solving these two uh, functions for x and y so how can we solve this uh, let us try to see so si a simple thing either we make the coefficient of x uh, x same in both uh, the functions or the coefficient of y same in the both functions okay let's try to make the coefficient of x same how can we find uh, make them same so if i multiply this function with this uh, uh, multiply it uh, with six so this function will become so six into minus x is uh, minus six x then we have a six six is are 36 six ones are six seven eight nine minus six threes are uh, six threes are 18 so we have and six into zero is zero okay so first we solve for x and y i have just made the coefficient of x in absolute terms same in equation let us say this is equation first this is second this is our third okay now we can uh, solve we can find out the value of x and y here okay so if i add these two functions okay equation one and two so i, I will write it equation first plus equation third will give us so we have six x uh, plus uh, minus is six x so this will get cancelled okay so we have minus y uh, plus 96 actually 
it is y here i forgot to write it here so minus uh, minus 1 plus 96 comes out to be uh, 95 y and we have minus 2 and minus 18 it comes out to be minus 20 it should be equal to 0 okay i hope i you are getting what i am doing i'm just trying to solve for x and y using uh, the elimination method here i guess okay so we have 95 y is equal to if i transpose it will become 20 or y is equal to 20 upon 95 okay so this will come out to be 5 4 the 20 so we have 5 1 the 5 pass here sat over now so this becomes 45 5 9 are 45 okay so we got the value of y is equal to 4 upon 19 okay this is the critical value for y similarly what will be the value of x just put this value either in this equation or in this equation let us put it in the first equation to get the value of x so we have 6 into x minus value of y is 4 upon 19 minus 2 is equal to 0 or 6x is equal to transposing these terms this will become 4 upon 19 plus 2 okay doing some ordinary multiplication here so we have 6x is equal to so 4 ones are 4 uh, plus 19 into 2 so we have 38 upon I am really sorry it is sorry it, it is 19 here okay so no problem here so what we got here so we have 38 and we have 19 here I guess I am doing the calculation right so we have 4 19 into 2 yes I am doing it say, uh, correctly so this is 38 plus uh, this is 42 upon 19 which gives us uh, 6x is equal to this or x is equal to 42 upon 19 if i transpose this will get divided 6 okay we can write it here 6 ones are 6 7 are 42 so the value of x comes out to be 7 upon 19 i hope i am making myself clear so i got the value of x is equal to 7 upon 19 y is equal to 4 upon 19 okay so we were done this very we were done with the first step now what we need to do we need to find out the sign of the direct partials that means we need to find out f x x f x x so what is f x x f x x is simply partially differentiating our this multivariate function with respect to x again okay so if this is f x x so f double x means taking derivative of this function with respect to x so derivative of x is here one so we are left with six okay and no x is involved in other terms here we can see it is greater than zero similarly we need to find out f y y f y y that means this very function this function okay so if i write it as like this so f y y taking direct uh, taking the derivative with respect to y again so derivative of y is 1 we are left with 16 here we can say it is greater than 0 okay i guess we are um, getting towards relative minimum here okay okay now we need to find out f x y f x y so taking derivative again with respect to y in this equation so we will be left with minus 1 and f y x it will be same minus 1 by youngest rule i will not explain it here so but let us uh, try to find out f y x that means partially differentiating equation second uh, with respect to x so derivative of x is 1 so we are left with minus 1 here okay now what can we do here so let's try to calculate actually our f x y is always equal to f y x this comes from the youngest theorem okay and here we have proved it f x y is equal to minus 1 f y x is equal to minus 1 okay so let's try to use this very thing here so we have f x x into f y y and we have f 
so if f x y is equal to f y x so we can write uh, it like this f uh, x y into f x y okay or we have f x x into f y y here we have f x y square okay now what is our f x x we have calculated f x x is came out to be 6 into f y y is 16 and here f x x f x y is minus 1 f y x is minus 1 that means f x y is equal to f y x so we i can write it like this minus 1 square so 6 6 is 36 6 1 are 6 7 8 9 we got here 96 here minus 1 square is 1 here we can see 96 is greater than 1 so what we got actually here you can easily comprehend here we got the second order direct partial is greater than 0 okay we also got this condition satisfied that means the product of direct partials should be greater than the square of the cross partial okay so this condition was also satisfied and this we actually got okay by setting uh, the first derivative is equal to zero of our multivariate function so these three conditions were satisfied so we can safely say uh, this function has relative minimum or we have relative relative minima at uh, when when x is equal to 7 upon 9 these are our critical points and y is equal to 4 upon 19 okay so in this case though we uh, this condition was satisfied this condition was satisfied but this condition was not satisfied so this function cannot have the maximum so we have minima in this case okay since only these three conditions were satisfied of the relative minima so we can say this function has relative minimum